Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another one of these talking videos. Uh, before we get into the video, I want to quickly again mention the puzzle. I don't think I explained the rules for this one quite clearly in the last video. There's a puzzle in this video as well, and it's a new one. In the top right hand corner of the screen, somewhere during the video, you will see uh, your first hint. And then from your first hint, you should be able to solve the puzzle. Uh, whoever ends up solving it first um, ends up uh, getting a prize and at the end of the puzzle you get instructions for how to contact me to actually tell me that you finished it um, so today I want to talk about proximity chat which is a function found in PUBG and could actually be done in Minecraft using different mods but essentially what it is is proximity chat is the ability to talk to players that are physically close to you in games so for, so for example let's say uh, in PUBG, for example, I was on top of a house and there was somebody in the house. I could like yell into my microphone and they'd be able to like barely hear me from inside the house. And then you could like talk with each other. But let's say I was three houses down, I wouldn't be able to talk with them because now I'm too far away. So it's supposed to mimic like your voice in real life by just using your microphone. And that sort of thing to me is really cool. I like that because let's say for example in Fortnite. Fortnite doesn't have proximity chat but let's say if it was Fortnite and I was on top of a house and I hate dealing with people in houses I could be like dude come out and then I could try to reason with the guy to get him to come out of the house or something like that or you can just trash talk and then it, it's just general toxicity and I find that sort of thing hilarious so that's why I like a lot of games to have proximity chat in them. Uh, some pluses and minuses of a proximity chat are I guess I'll do the pluses first. It's cool. It's really cool to be able to talk to people and as I was just describing before. It also increases like like the humor content made on games. And I think Fortnite's gotten to the point where basically anything that you actually want to watch is humor because everybody's sick of just watching the same old snipes out of airplanes and stuff like that. Just because there's nothing really new and crazy being added to the game and people are really starting to max out the skill gap. As far as the minuses, um, it's really toxic most of the time, especially when there's like two or three seconds where after you kill someone, they can still use the proximity chat usually. I think that's how it works with some games, but they'll get, they'll get really uh, toxic sometimes and just start screaming at you. It's like they get their three seconds to, you know, pack as many four letter words as they want <laughs> into what they're saying. So that's one negative. I like that sort of thing. I think it's hilarious. I like to trash talk people. That's just me. Not everybody likes that. And obviously it would deter younger audiences from whatever games have it. Uh, another minus is it really takes up some extra bandwidth on the servers. Because I don't know if you guys have seen. But with Fortnite you're only really using maybe like 12 kilobytes of like 12 kilobytes up and down I think. Something like that at, a, at per second. So it's not really that much stress on the servers, but if you were to be trading voice, then it get it bumps up quite a bit, and that's not ideal. Um, speaking of which, I want to talk about implementation with Fortnite and what that would do to the game. I think it would be hilarious, personally, just because of the amount of little kids that play this. It'd be hilarious to be like, oh crap, I just got killed by, you know, like a seven-year-old. <laughs> and them be just be trash as have a seven year old trash talking me i find that sort of thing hilarious but assuming i killed like you know whoever and then they got mad at me <laughs> and i i love that sort of thing i think it's hilarious and that's probably just due to the fact that i used to play minecraft a lot but i think it would actually be a good thing for fortnite because it would start sort of deterring some of the younger audiences from the game which would be really nice honestly because i'm not gonna lie i sort of am sick of the squeakers and squads when I do solo squads and leave Phil on. My personal story with Proximity Chat, I originally discovered it when um, they, I, when I was still playing Minecraft. There were these uh, things called Mumble UHCs, and that's Mumble Ultra Hardcore, and Ultra Hardcore was just a game mode, but Mumble is actually what uh, the vo main voice platform was before TeamSpeak and Discord. That's what everybody used. They used Mumble and Skype. But... What ended up happening was Mumble sort of went to the wayside, but someone developed a Minecraft mod where you could use Mumble to basically emulate proximity chat. And I just thought that was really cool. That's how I originally discovered it. And then obviously there's other games that have it uh, natively implemented. 
Anyway, I'd like to conclude with just saying I think proximity to chat would be a great idea for basically any game because it's hilarious. Um, and hopefully it gets added to Fortnite. Uh, before I go, I want to mention the puzzle again. Uh, try to solve it, guys. There is a prize. You guys saw what the prize was last time, and that's not all. That's like not all the different prizes. I mean, I'm really being open with it. You guys really get to contribute on a video or whatever, and you definitely get shoutouts in there as well. So definitely, definitely go for solving the puzzle. I recommend it. Peace out, guys.